From the outside, the life of Imperial officers and commanders may seem like one of prestige and ill-gotten gains, often been portrayed as greedy tyrants who love nothing more than pillaging whatever they can from Imperial citizens whilst trampling all over alien communities. However, on closer inspection, it may surprise you to realise that being a relatively high-ranking member of the Empire is actually pretty harrowing. But why exactly is this? What are the risks of life in the Empire? And what makes so many Imperial officials the merciless thugs that we see them as? Now, to make this argument fair, we do need to put in a little disclaimer. Imperial officers, warlords and governors, etc. did actually enjoy very high qualities of life in comparison to, say, everyday Imperial citizens, for example, those in the Outer Rim, who may be struggling to even have enough food to eat. Many high-ranking Imperials have their own ships, staff, security details, and the backing of the single most impressive military force in the galaxy, and the ability to do whatever they wanted with almost total impunity. However, there was actually a pretty hefty price that they had to pay to have this. Being a high-ranking member of the Empire had its risks. There is, of course, the natural ones that we may think of. For example, they were key targets for rebels and anarchists wanting to strike out against the Empire. After all, the Empire did have a lot of enemies. However, the biggest threat came from inside the Empire itself. To compare the Imperials to a business, it's a very, very competitive and toxic culture within Imperial ranks. It expects results, and it demands that you get those results regardless of what it takes or the conditions you face. Not only this, but collaboration isn't exactly something that is supported. If you have to rely on others for support, it just makes you look weak to your superiors. And although the Empire appears to be a united front, it really was everything but. Almost everyone is in it for themselves, every branch of the military is competing with one another for funding, every warlord or governor is competing with one another to gain Palpatine's favour, and every officer and commander is just trying to get their superior's attention, and so on. Essentially, everybody is kissing the boots of the person above them, which eventually leads to Palpatine at the top of the pyramid. An example of this is that in the Empire, the Navy and the Army hated each other in general, and this structure made the lives for all of those people serving in the Empire, particularly those in commanding roles, pretty difficult. Since you were always competing, you can't ask for aid as it would make you look weak and give someone else prestige over you. We also need to remember that in the Empire, military staff work with a huge amount of authority, and they're able to act in almost complete autonomy, essentially what they say goes, and this means they can abuse their power to better their own positions. Now, they can't do anything directly to another member of Imperial staff. However, anybody who is not in the Imperial military or navy is more or less fair gain. For example, if you want to gain the attention of a moth to gain more power, it helps to get rid of your competition. So you may choose to accidentally leak information regarding your opponent's operations, leading to freedom fighters or rebels attacking their networks. Maybe a certain prisoner may get free, and attack your competitor. Maybe your rival's families are somehow arrested for supporting anti-imperial causes. The fact is that you could basically do anything you wanted to hurt them, just not directly. And this is a pretty terrifying prospect when you think about it. The only real way to progress in the imperial military is to sort of cut yourself off from anything in the rest of the galaxy, any emotional ties such as family are only potential ways in which you will be targeted by your competition. To me, this seems like a pretty big factor, and something that must have definitely contributed to why so many of the Empire staff are so willing to be villains. The entire structure of the organisation they serve is designed to make them act in this way. Anybody who is not cruel, anybody who shows even the slightest amount of compassion, will be weeded out by a more cutthroat, merciless competitor. And I think Sidious and his moths knew this. Sidious would never be able to risk any of his military rebelling against him, and anybody who is capable of large amounts of compassion, or really just any, is potentially a threat to that. Sidious knew that in his military, he needed people who would obey commands to the letter regardless of ethics. 
So he needed a group of blind loyalists, and that's exactly the culture he created to incubate this. But what do you guys think? Is this accurate? And why do you believe the Imperial leaders are so needlessly cruel on so many occasions? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, please remember to like, share, and sub as it's really appreciated and it helps the channel grow. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at the Law Guy and tick the bell for regular updates. But most importantly, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a great day. I hope you're all staying safe out there, and I'll see you next time.